51 years ago, two women became the first female FBI agents. Today, the Bureau is still a male-dominated agency, but women continue to fill important roles and make meaningful contributions. We meet two women leading the way in western New York. It's important for people to see me, especially those who look like me. Eight years ago, LaVonda Locke became the first African-American administrative officer for the FBI in Buffalo. She supervises 130 professional employees in offices that include Rochester. Locke stresses not every FBI employee carries a gun or a badge. My undergraduate degree is in forensic science, so um, after college, I was trying to figure out, you know, what my next steps will be. This Buffalo native began her FBI career 27 years ago as an evidence tech. As part of the evidence response team, um, I went to 9-11. I was there for about 15 days working, working 10-hour shifts to, to help um, in the evidence collection. So it was a tough time, but it was a rewarding time to know what the work you were doing was going to make a difference. The 9-11 terrorist attacks compelled Sandra Bergdahl to leave her job as an environmental engineer. At that point, it was like, am I really making an impact? In 2001, she says the military told her she was too old to go to war. The 35-year-old then heard the FBI was hiring and applied. In two years, when she turns 57, the supervisory special agent in Rochester says she'll once again be told she's too old, this time by the Bureau. But she says she'll retire knowing she's made a huge impact. Through the years, some of the cases I've worked, I've, I've re really enjoyed uh, putting people away in jail for doing things that they shouldn't be doing. For nearly 20 years, she's worked in multiple field offices helping to put away criminals for billions in health care fraud and more recently pandemic loan fraud. But her work on behalf of kids who have been abducted, trafficked or sexually exploited brings her the greatest satisfaction. She recalls a pimp she helped put away for 25 years and one of the young girls she rescued from prostitution. I went to her um, juvenile court appearance and uh, when the judge asked her what she wanted to be when she grew up, she said an FBI agent. What more can I ask for? Both women are mentors who maintain working for the FBI can be both physically and emotionally draining, but they add they've had an amazing career and encourage others to consider joining the FBI.